Here's an intense look at Joe Biden and NBC News heated exchange over Biden's speech and the chaos that erupted during the debate. I listen to them. In your last TV interview, you were asked if you had watched the debate. Your answer was, I don't think so, no. Have you since seen it? I've seen pieces of it. I've not watched the whole debate. And the reason I ask, because I guess the question is, are you all on the same page? Are you seeing what they saw, which was moments of, frankly, that appeared to be, you appeared to be confused? Lester, look, why don't you guys ever talk about the 18, the 28 lies he told? Where, where are you on this? Why didn't the press ever talk about that? 28 times it's confirmed he lied in that debate. I had a bad, bad night. I wasn't feeling well at all. And I had been, without it making it, I screwed up. But I, I, I just asked the question because the, the, the idea that you may or may not have seen what some of these other folks have seen, you're not on the same. I'd have to see, I was there. <laughs> I'd have to see it, I was there. And by the way, seriously, you won't answer the question, but why didn't the press talk about all the lies he told? Well, I don't know anything about that. We have, we have reported many of the issues that no, came you in that debate. No, you haven't. We'll provide you with them. God, oh, God love you. Okay. <laughs> the essence of leadership lies in accountability and transparency. Joe Biden's defensive stance and his evasive remarks about his performance can be perceived as shirking responsibility. The public might see this as Biden dodging accountability for his actions. His accusation that the media failed to adequately address Donald Trump's falsehoods is an attempt to shift the narrative. Biden contends that the media harbors liberal biases and holds Democratic leaders to different standards than their Republican counterparts. This suggests a belief that Biden is attempting to manipulate media coverage to his benefit. Concerns about Biden's cognitive abilities and moments of confusion feed into public worries about his fitness for office. His defensive and somewhat erratic reactions might be interpreted as signs of cognitive decline, which is crucial in evaluating his capability to lead the nation effectively. Biden's emphasis on Trump's lies, rather than discussing Trump's achievements, can be viewed as a tactic to divert from substantial policy discussions. The public may perceive these strategies as a means to evade meaningful discourse on significant policy and governance issues.